For two years, pregnant women sent to the Fiakwanta Regional Hospital had to endure this hardship. Some had to be carried on stretches upwards on these steep stairs because they were too weak. This woman had just recovered after a caesarean section. Carrying her to the second floor was risky because she had been heavily sedated. And after climbing the first floor, she had to be put down for some time because her helpers themselves were tired. After some time, they moved up again. Now we're in a ward, and this was how she was carried onto the bed. These men had done their work, but it was certainly not for free. They charged 10 Ghana cities. We've asked those who were collecting money to stop from collecting money. So we're stationing some of our staff there to help carry the pregnant women upstairs. Hand that out. They then moved downwards, waiting patiently for another patient who needed their services. Some women shared their experience, capturing the agony most pregnant women go through. Nurses to TV3, others who could not afford, took the stairs. Some patients, when they are bleeding, heavy bleeding, they cram the upstairs without the lift. You see, some collapse on the steps. TV3 cited three different letters written by the hospital administrators to the Ministry of Health. No action had been taken yet. The head of administration, Asari Bidiako Maika, was worried. It's very pathetic, um, but there's nothing that we can do about um, Dr. Sipayanki came here to inspect the place. Our director general has been here. Um, our regional minister, the Western Regional Minister, has also been here to inspect the lift. The regional director is also in the know. So uh, all the big wits they are in the known of the status of the list, and even the current chief director of the uh, Minister of Health, who was our regional director, um, is also in the know. His concern was also shared by several would-be mothers. Jojo Kobner, TV3.